നവംബർ ട്വൻറ്റിയത്ത് വെനസ്ഡേ ലൂക്ക് നയൻറ്റീൻ ഇലവൻ ടു ട്വൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റ് ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ a teenage arab shepherd boy found the first dead sea scrolls in a cave these leather scrolls were 2000 years old the boy sold the priceless scrolls cheaply to a leather worker in Bethlehem the buyer said that he fully intended to use the leather to repair shoes later he decided the scrolls were too valuable for that and turned them over to scholars This story dramatizes the point Jesus makes in today's gospel reading. We can use God's gifts like our talents in a variety of ways. Some worthwhile, others wantonly wasteful. In today's parable a rich man goes abroad and entrusts his servants with the responsibility in his absence he expects them to use the resources he has given them creatively Jesus spoke this parable to those who thought that because Jesus was approaching Jerusalem the kingdom of God was going to show itself there and then to correct that impression Jesus speaks a parable which suggests there will be an interval of time before the full coming of the kingdom of god in that interval the lord wants us to make creative use of the resources and gifts that he has given us he doesn't want us to do nothing out of fear which was the case with the third servant in the parable fear can be very immobilizing the fear of failure the fear of getting it wrong the fear of being misunderstood we learn more by trying something and failing than by doing nothing the lord wants to work through us but we need to give him scope to do so we need to recognize the resources the lord has given us and then place them at his disposal by being creative and courageous in our use of them today we are asked to reflect on the special gifts that God has given to each one of us and how we are using them for the benefit of our brothers and sisters in need what are our attitudes to money to property to professional status academic or other qualifications or other gifts with which we are endowed where do we invest our gifts and our talents both in born and acquired 
Dear friends, the message is clear. The more we invest, the more we will gain. We cannot stand still or just cling to what we have. The only way to gain is to let go, to give and to share. It is an attitude very foreign to many people's way of thinking who feel that life consists of amassing more and more that security is in having but the gospel way is really the only way that makes sense it is not in collecting but in sharing that generates wealth the wealth that really matters freedom security and peace wishing you a good day for the paul csr from kerala